Hey everyone, we're going to find the exact solution for the equation 2x squared plus 8x minus 3 equals 0 by completing the square. So uh, the problem with this equation is our lead coefficient is not 1. Uh, I'm going to write it uh, where the lead coefficient is 1 so I can uh, complete the square here. So I think I'm going to just uh, write this first like this. I'm going to add 3 to both sides. So there's different ways to do this, but this is how I do it. Now I'm going to factor out a 2 from this part. So it's going to give you x squared plus 8 or 4x equals 3. Now divide both sides by 2. That gets rid of that. So uh, that's our equation. Now, when you have it like that, we can complete the square by writing this as x squared plus 4x plus, and what we're going to do is put this equation, this uh, b divided by 2 squared. Our b <coughs> happens to be 4. Now, whatever we write on this side of the equation, we have to write on the other side so, we, so as not to um, change things up. We want the um, equations to be the same. We're just rewriting this. So in our case, we have 4 divided by 2, that's our formula, squared. 4 divided by 2 squared. So that's just going to be 4. 4 divided by 2 is just 2, 2 squared. All right. So what we get is x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals 3 halves plus 4. All right. Now, this is my perfect square trinomial, and I can condense it. I want to condense it so it's easier to solve for x. So what you do is you just write x plus take half of the 4, because b is your 4, that's 2 squared. These are equivalent. This is just condensed. Equals... Now, my common denominator is 2, so I'm going to put a 2 here. If I need a 2 there, I put it there. So that's going to be 3 plus um, 8, so it's going to be 11 divided by 2. All right, so what we have is x plus 2 squared equals 11 divided by 2. Now we can solve this, so you square root both sides. And don't forget your plus and minus. So when you do plus, minus, that means plus or minus. So we get x plus 2 equals plus or minus square root of 11 divided by square root of 2. I don't know if I'm going to use that. We can just leave it like that maybe. Let's do that. <coughs> so we're going to subtract 2 from both sides. So x equals plus or minus. Um... Do I really want to? No. So we're just going to write this as square root of 11 halves minus 2. If you want to break it up, that would be x equals um, square root 11 divided by 2 minus 2. Make sure the square root goes over the whole thing. Or x equals negative square root of 11 divided by 2 minus 2. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.